everyone, I'm so excited for today's video because we are here with Akin Kanitsi, International Creative Director for Hob Salons. Um, Akin is a multi-award winning hairstylist. He has a client roster that would make the guest list for the Oscars jealous. But more exciting than all of that, Akin has been working away on a very secret project for the last few years for Dyson and he is the product development partner for Dyson and also the global ambassador for their new hair dryer. As you can see, I have very long hair, it's super fine. Um, it tends to go quite fuzzy and fluffy. Um, and I would normally always have to use a brush to get to tame the flyaways and to get it into any kind of bearable shape. But using just my fingers and the hairdryer, it's done exactly what I always try to get it to do, but I really struggle to do. So for that, thank you, Dyson. Um, but Akin, I just wanted to say, like when you were doing my hair, at no point did my hair feel hot, did my head feel hot. Um, Whereas when I have had blow dryers in the past using professional hair dryers that are super powerful, I can often get a little bit uncomfortable in the mm -hmm. chair because the heat is just too intense. Yeah, we do burn you when you burn yeah, yourselves. Exactly. Yeah. So for me, that was mm. really quite a big point of difference. Um, the other thing that was n so noticeable was the sound. I mean, mm. we could talk comfortably while you were doing my hair. I could hear everything you were saying. Um, you know, we're in, a, we're in a fairly noisy salon, as I'm sure you can hear, and this, I mean, it is remarkably quiet. And so really that probably brings us just to one point, which is the price. Um, and the Dyson Supersonic Hairdryer is going to re retail in the UK at £299.99, which is going to be, I believe, the most expensive hairdryer on the market. So now that I've tried it and I've used it, I have to ask myself, would I buy it? And in short, yes I would. Um, for me, the main, the main reasons I would buy it is, I, I love my hair, I love my hair to look good, but I'm time poor and I just don't have the time in my life to sit there and blow dry my hair like a hairstylist would um, and get the result. I, I just can't do it. This dried my entire, I think you took about Very quickly. maybe five minutes, yeah. I did it probably in three, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and for me to get my half of my head looking this good in three minutes, which means I'd get the whole of it looking good in mm. six minutes, is unbelievable. Mm. Um, I also think the noise factor for a lot of consumers is going to be a massive plus for, you know, We've, I've spoken to lots of layered leaders who said that they don't like using their conventional hairdryer in the morning because they're worried about mm -hmm. waking up their partner or their yeah. flatmates. You wouldn't have that problem with this. I was trying to think as you were doing my hair what you could compare the noise level to and the only thing that I could think of was it's like walking into a house or something and someone using a hairdryer but like six rooms away mm -hmm. with all the doors shut. That's how quiet this is. Um, Everything has been considered with this hairdryer. Um, and of course, when they first told me the price it was going to go out, I was shocked too. Everybody's shocked at, the, at why this hairdryer is 300 pounds. The reality of it is, if you look at different markets, telephones, cars, etc., what are they worth? If you, if you think about it relatively, it's only worth the quality that it is and you know what maybe it's that much better mm. maybe it's had that much work put into it maybe it's had that much investment put into it that that's the value of this dryer and you know what I believe that what will happen is as people hear about it more and use it more and more you use it then you realize why it's so good um, and there's no justification for that it's just it's the best dryer yeah. 